Hello, and welcome to the Formula V at Oren Park. We are doing the full Grand Prix course here today of Oren Park. So we're going to see the whole course, essentially. And, uh, well, let's head out for qualifying. That's about the, all there is to say about that one. We've got a 2.4 strength of field here tonight. Looks Just like got home from work on Wednesday. We've got two laps to get the job done, mate. And usually it's only road series that are populated enough for me to do <laughs> this late at night. But that's fine. Formula V is good fun. Don't think I'm going to be the fastest out here by any means. But... Uh, I think if I can survive the cold tires early on, I can get into a rhythm and maybe get myself a nice finish. We'll see what people around us do. That's always going to play a big factor. Whether you're getting dive-bombed or something. But going to just do the outlap here, try not to spin myself. It is so easy to do. I'm always that's always a chance in the Formula V. Always a chance the cold tires get me. It's just kind of the way it is green in this flag, car. Flag. I don't know if other people have that problem, but even though I've done probably hundreds of laps in this car, okay. still the cold tires sometimes kill me. Let's try not to let that happen this time. Especially lap one, I'm just gonna try to get a solid lap in and then maybe we'll push it. Oh, I hit the bumps all wrong there. I felt like I slowed down plenty enough and then it just it kept bouncing. We got all time optimal up right now. That might be a draft aided time, but. Still something to kind of look at. So far this is not a very good lap, I'll be honest. This area is a little scary on the cold tires. I've spun here before. Even in the race. Yeah, not, not, not my greatest effort. We'll see if we can get some time back. On lap two. Oh! Oh my god. That was terrible. Wow. One more lap. I am just completely choking away this qualifying. Even lap two here is going to be slower because I'm going to lose a couple tenths with a terrible run to the line. And of course, that first lap's not going to count because I touched the wall. And walls are illegal. So, <laughs> no walls allowed in qualifying. Russ Chastain in shambles. I'm in shambles, but... <laughs> oh well. Yeah, I'm still stinking it up. The pressure of qualifying has clearly gotten to me. at least try to get a lap in. Even if it is a second slower, jeez. I feel like I choke qualifying away more often in the V than like any other car. Wonder if that's backed up by any evidence that's or if that's just Soto, me. 118.3 is not what I'm going to be hitting. Oh my god, that's so bad. 119.5. Ew. So my all time best is a 18.6, so I can go a full second faster. I'm sure we got plenty of people still finishing their laps. There's no way I'm gonna be third, right? I don't, I'm not gonna be able to keep up with that number four. They were faster than me in the open practice, and they're gonna be faster than me in the race as well. Um, like I said, I'm not going to be the fastest out here. I just don't, I don't think I'm brave enough 
I think some people can just really attack the corners and blast through th for some really fast laps and I'm just a little too concerned I'm a little bit too sheepish not wanting to spin this thing and probably what causes me to spin it half the time because when you get off the throttle it gets real light Maybe this lap wasn't so bad after all. I mean, you saw it. It was like a full second worse than my best. But, you know, I guess that is draft-aided, like I said. Most likely. Maybe it wasn't as bad as I thought. Although, we definitely did lose a couple tenths because of the horrible final corner on lap one. Huh. I mean, qualifying will end in 35 seconds or so due to inactivity. I prefer not to be right in the middle of the mess if I can avoid it. Fourth place wouldn't be so bad. We are the number two, so not the strongest field out here. 2.4 is not all that bad though. Man, we might be going here in a second. Okay. Hope nobody makes any super aggressive moves on me right off the start. I don't like defensive driving and stuff like that, although I should get used to it because that's kind of part of the deal. I guess we're going. Okay. Well, P4. We could find ourselves a nice safe spot, maybe to ride around a little bit, not get caught in any trouble. It might be okay. I think I'd be happy with like a top five. I mean, I know there's only 11 people in here, though. I think I'd still be happy with the top five, though. I don't want to be greedy. <laughs> we'll just hope for a nice, uh, clean run. Time optimal. Get all this ready in case we need it. All right. Number uh, four gets the pole by a whole lot. Maybe they've got draft help in qualifying. <laughs> They got their friend to go out on track in front of them. No, obviously can't do that. But they uh, they sure got... Sure made us look silly with an 18-3. Waiting on P5 to join up. And I think that's it. Fine. Alright, we're going. Sweet. Minutes. You really need to get on with it. The track temp is 119. The air temp is 78 Fahrenheit. All right, Colton, get ready. Green flag. Green flag. All right. Solid launch. P3 didn't get any launch whatsoever. That's curious. I wonder what happened there. Easy does it, that's fine. I like it, I like it. Everyone's being pretty patient. Whoa, where is the guy behind me going? He about dive bombed me. Easy, man. It's lap one. I'm just trying to survive on these cold tires right now. I don't know if he meant to or what, but that's a little concerning. Alright. Oh, guy behind spun. Yeah, he was not respecting the cold tires, I don't think. I just, I know from experience, it's very easy to spin in that little S area right there. Whenever you're still getting up the temp. I really wanted to avoid that this time, and I even used a little bit of brake when I normally wouldn't. But hey, P3, look at that. P3, I'm not going to bother with the drift. And we got about five seconds behind us. It's already looking pretty good. I expect the four to drive away. Maybe we'll keep up with the five with a little bit of draft. Just got to keep it on the track. So far, so good. It does help to have someone in front of you, 
kind of use as a reference point. I overdrove that. Still gonna take it easy through here. This area scares me. It has bitten me before, as I mentioned. So, I'll probably lose time through there until I'm confident that the tires are ready. Ready for me to take it a little more aggressively. Oh! Okay. Another one bites the dust. As a famous monarchy once said. I don't know. I'm trying to cleverly say... <laughs> trying to cleverly reference Queen here. Um... Well, we're in second. I did not expect that. Although they're only six seconds behind. With how fast they are, they might catch us still. So, I'm not counting them out by any means. I'm going to avoid battling the five, even if I catch him, for that reason. I don't want to battle him and let the guy behind catch up. I think it serves us best to be patient, let us both run quick laps. Maybe we can stay away from him and get the upset win here whenever I think he probably most deserves it. Of course, he did make the mistake, right? Okay, Colton, you're reeling. Zoo in. The gap is 0.6. So we'll stay behind Ian here. Ian Zhu. Don't know if I can catch this guy. I think I'm only keeping up because of the draft. How much time we got? We still got eight minutes. We're still at the very beginning of this thing, of course. So. Make sure I break a little earlier, because we are heading in turn one pretty fast. He goes pretty wide through that corner. That's got a... that's dangerous. Him getting his tires off in the grass like that? He's really playing with fire. I think I just wait for him to crash, to be honest. He's really tempting fate. Maybe, uh. Maybe me being in his rearview mirror is pressuring him a little bit. I like. I tend to like to think I'm scarier than I am. But we're. We're behind him. We're not letting him get away, at the very least. The four car is approaching, but I don't know if they're approaching fast enough. You're just gonna have to send it, mate. I'm not gonna do that, crew chief. My crew chief is like the devil on my shoulder. I swear, he's you always like, wreck the guy. <laughs> it's okay. And I'm like, nah. I'm gonna be patient, actually. Proof chiefs in my ear. Commit tax fraud. No, thank you. Not really driving very well, to be honest. I feel like I'm missing my marks. I'm under driving pretty badly, trying to overcompensate for the extra speed I have from the draft. third this time. He takes really wide on this final corner. Is that faster? I don't know if it is. I bet he gets a good run though, so maybe it is. I always take it pretty shallow right there and kind of just ride that inside line. Usually it works pretty well enough. I feel like if I take that wide entry like that, I'm going to be turning the wheel too much and it could cause me to spin. That's what I would worry about, but maybe I'll Maybe I'll practice that in a future practice session. 
taking a wider entrance. To go. You're looking good for a podium. I do gain on him a little bit in turn one. P2. Looks like. Okay, that was not good. Tried to enter a little harder and it nearly spun me. Thought the tires were going to be a little more grippy than they were. Got through there pretty good though. Go to fourth here. Kind of depends on how close I am to him and uh, how well of a run I had, how good of a run I had. Whether I decide to use third or fourth gear, got tight through that corner. Not so great. Four minutes left. This thing might be ending on lap 10 or so, maybe. Not sure. Too busy to do math here. Oh yeah, I get a ton of time on there. Alright, 4 is still catching up, but maybe not fast enough. Managed to not completely botch that corner again. Oh, he's wide. He keeps his momentum, though. Doesn't seem to affect him all too much. He's kind of piling up the incidents, maybe. Maybe not. Seems like he might be, though. Oh, he got real loose. That's why I'm not doing that wide entry. That's exactly what I was concerned about. I thought it would happen to me. You start turning the wheel so much in this in the V, and it'll get unsettled on you sometimes. He's going to be defensive. I might pressure him, try to pressure him into a mistake, but I'm not going too wide through here, no way, sir. I really don't want the guy behind to catch, because he will win the race, I feel like, if he catches up. Uh, he's going to keep going defensive, though, and it's going to let the guy catch us. I really don't want to do this. Even if I told him, though, like, hey, let's uh, just stay in line, I don't know if he would believe me, and probably rightfully so. He's much better on the second half of the lap, I think, than I am. I think I might have a little bit of advantage on the first half of the lap. Unfortunately, uh, you kind of need to be the one getting to the finish line first. So I think that's advantage him if he's going to be better in the second half of the lap. That lap time was 119.5. Not going to dive it or anything. This is such a dangerous spot to pa try to pass, so I don't think I would ever want to do that. It's way too narrow. Still concerned about that four back there. Because as soon as he starts getting in our draft, too, he's going to catch up even faster. Not really what I want. This is pretty good though, pretty good racing. You've got 10 of fuel Still trying to pressure him, he hasn't made any major mistakes really. The white flag. That means one more lap to go. Right on his bumper though. I think it might be time to try to do something. What is he doing? Trying to get me to hit that wall. 
That'd be funny. Funny in a not funny way. Still don't want this to happen. Oh, oh, oh alley oop! <laughs> yeah, great idea. Now he's gonna have the preferred line for this corner. That's some road racing racecraft right there, Hadoi. I'm an oval racer. Let me be. We got. We still have a chance at him, though. I'm gonna give it a go. At the very least, that made him have to perform. And he did it. He kept it straight. Oh, wait a minute. Mistake, mistake. No, 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 no. Stay on the left. Clear. Oh, no. Shoot, I'm so sorry, man. I hope I didn't come too far over. Oh, God. You won. Fantastic drop. No, the you devil won. on my shit. <sighs> Controversy. Oh, my God. What just happened? Oh, I gotta take a look at that. Who's at fault? Is it me? He could have left me more room. think he could have given more room? I don't know. He's pretty far over. <sighs> Tainted win, though. I didn't want that to happen. I was in a great position, too. Huh? <laughs> um. I don't know how to better explain it. I mean, I'm sorry. <laughs> I really am. <sighs> well. I mean, I don't think I can hold it any farther left. I was right... There. I don't know what he means by that. That sucks, man. We had such a good battle. It was like gonna be an exciting finish. I felt like I had the preferred line there, you know? Like, he, it was his mistake here that allowed me to catch. I thought I had no chance, but he slides. And I get to his inside. I'm here right now. Maybe he didn't know. I don't know. He's upset, of course. Anyone would be. And then the wheels touch, and it just... It pulled me right into him. 
somehow I don't get sent around. I mean, look at my wheel I'm doing to try to keep this thing from spinning out. I really had to do some things with it, but oh my gosh, that sucks. I guess I won, technically. I don't feel like a winner. <laughs> I guess give me your thoughts on that one. If you're watching. I'll be I'll I'll stay open minded. I feel like I left room, but maybe I maybe he wasn't obligated to leave room. I wasn't close enough to him, you know. Let me see from his perspective. You know, let's go. I feel like if you know someone's on the inside, you gotta kinda like aim for this, right? I tried to give as much room as I could, and so I really got on the curb right here. And it did bump me out a little bit. I thought I I thought we had enough room still though, you know? I tried to give like as much room as possible while not just like giving up because I wanted to try to go for it. And it just, I think the worst thing was is that, you know, our contact for whatever reason pulled me toward him. If it had just bounced me away from him or something, I think we would have been fine. But the initial contact pulls me toward him. And then, you know, we're just constantly hitting at that point. Ah, oh, man. Controversy. I guess is how this one ends. Dang, ruins a really clean race I had going as well for both of us. We both had zero X, even though I thought he got off the course a couple times, but nah, he didn't even get any off tracks before that. <sighs> well, that's a bummer. We'll uh, check the incidents, the other incidents. We already checked one of them at the very end. Hmm. Lap one. Ooh, guy on the inside. Cleared him out as he locked up the brakes right here. It's winning way too hot. And then we got a couple people caught up in that. And this is the guy we saw get loose. This has happened, I'm telling you, this has happened, this exact same thing to me, multiple times. And so every time I, I'm at this track in the V now, I take that S on the first lap or two, just way too soft, probably. Just so that doesn't happen. Because I don't want to end up like that, like, for the third time, essentially. I've probably done it more times than that, but... Those cold tires, man. Can't overstate it. There's someone taking that wider entry to the final corner and spinning. And then the S, the S portion. Oh, and then right to here. I'm trying not to be biased, because obviously the natural inclination is to be biased in your own favor. But I just, I feel like I gave him room, right? Like, knowing that we're side by side, you got the side by side call, you aim for it you aim for the other side of the track, right? When we make contact, he's, like, if you took, if you had a line right down the middle of the track, he's on the left side of that line. So, I feel like, you know, where we made contact, he wasn't given enough room, but, you know, it's the last lap. Can't really be expected to give much room. But then, maybe it's a road racing etiquette thing that I'm less familiar with as a an oval racer like maybe just the fact that i barely have my nose on him doesn't give me the right to this corner you know so maybe it's on me i don't know i i really hope i get some opinions on this one i'm gonna kind of pass this one around and see what people think but that'll do it <laughs> unfortunately some controversy but we did get the win i guess technically <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how to feel about this one yet, but I hope you uh, enjoyed watching. Very uh, interesting race here.
Apologies to the five. Oh, I'm glad. I'm very glad he at least still got the podium. I didn't notice. I didn't notice he did that. I'm very happy to see that at least he was able to finish on the podium still. Obviously, he's not happy, but I'm glad he didn't finish tenth. So, is what it is. I'll see you next time. I appreciate you, and I hope you have a good one. See ya.